As a child, I ran from the killing squads three times. Even now, I still dream that I am running. Our entire little town was burned to nothing. My mother and father were killed in the mass graves. I sometimes think it would have been better if I had died with them. I cry at night. Your letters are for me like medicine. These are the last survivors of the Holocaust in Eastern Europe. And they're out there today, elderly, alone, suffering. They don't have extended family. Life is so hard in these places. They don't have anything. I saw it with my own eyes, and I knew that no one was helping them. So I wanted to reach out and help them. We provide them with direct and continuous financial aid for food, heat, medication, and shelter. OK, stay healthy and write to me. And we let them know they've not been forgotten. This person I'm very worried about. His wife is paralyzed. He himself is so not well. We get stacks and stacks of letters every week, mostly in Russian. They're sent out to translators, and then we start answering them immediately and sending money. We're now helping 2,000 people in eight countries. <laughs> the money is life-saving, but the connection, the letters, the communication, equally life-saving. I'm going to come back and see you. <laughs> We can really write a more hopeful final chapter to the Holocaust, this time one of kindness and compassion and what they finally deserve at the end of their lives.